Mattel did a fantastic job on this display. Looks like an old retro stand-up video game cabinet. Back in the day, uh, you know, we used to have a uh, ColecoVision, Atari 2600, but uh, things have moved up. Pong probably started it all, I believe. Just basically a dot, a square, bouncing around on the screen. Breakout was like a Pong, but now instead you were uh, trying to bounce a ball up against these bricks. Very rudimentary, still nonetheless. Then uh, Missile Command, very simple as well. Tempest, one of my favorite games. It was actually Vector Graphics, wasn't even... Uh, it was just made up of a bunch of lines. Centipede, full color. So uh, video games have come a long way since back in the day of ColecoVision, the 2600, 5200, all that stuff. I don't. I have a uh, Atari 2600, but I don't have the uh, box. There's my old ColecoVision box. I picked up the Centipede just because it seemed like the uh, perfect car. You got the cool one. Got a little screenshot on top. Looks like it could be one of the bugs in the game. And the other one I picked up was Tempest. Like I said, one of my favorite games. I'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and crack it open. Here's the cool one as the centipede. My daughter wanted this one as well. Picked it up at Kmart Collector's Day. They got the uh, shipper that day. Shipper just stands for uh, uh, someone that asked, Prelude Dresser asked, what's a shipper? A shipper is just like a uh, pre-loaded display for the stores. The stores get the display and all they got to basically do is open it up and it's ready to go. There's the uh, game on top. Let's see which way would it go. Uh, I'm wondering, yeah, it goes this way. I guess that's supposed to simulate the trackball. But there's the uh, centipede coming down. Look, there's that uh, mushroom. Got your spider. Oh, here you are right here. Here's your shooter. So there's the cool one. And as far as uh, Tempest goes, Tempest was done with the 55 Chevy panel. I didn't think I'd get it, but thankfully, Mattel, they packed a lot. There was a lot more of the uh, Chevy panel than there was of the other models. The other, one, the other ones were okay, nicely done. I'm not sure if they were the best models for a, a 4 or $5 product. But uh, interesting uh, thing about the, uh, the actual bad guys in the game... These bad guys are on the, the side of the uh, cabinet, but they're they're actually not really in the game. The game is just made up of uh, lines, so you got different uh, shapes attacking you, coming down the uh, tunnel or whatnot, whatever you want to describe. I don't know if I can stand this up. But anyways, so the uh, 55 Chevy panel... Used to come with the bike in the back. I don't believe this one's going to have the bike in the back. Nope. No bike. But you can see there's the channel where the bike used to be. Here I have the uh, first edition or new model. When it was first released, it was very rare. They didn't put too many in the uh, single blister. And there's your bike in the back. So if you hear people talking about, hey, does it have a bike in the back? Well, that's the bike that they're talking about that used to go in there. And then it just kind of hooks in. It's hooked into the uh, channel there. You could, uh, I don't remember, there's a slot for me to twist it out and remove it. it when I look in here, I can see the notch right there on the left. So that means uh, the, the notch should be on the left. There we go. So now I can take the bike out of that one. I'll put the uh, bike in my Tempest. Now we have a uh, rare Atari Tempest 55 panel with a uh, bike in the back. Maybe I should put a uh, thumbnail image like this and then people think, hey, the Tempest has got a bike in the back. No, I better not do that. People get people get upset. Don't want to fool people. So anyways, very happy to pick up the uh, Tempest, but I'm going to be passing on the other few of this series. Not exactly uh, my thing. 
it's a price point issue and the castings chosen not my thing if it's your thing have fun you know it's up to you I know the guys at Kmart collectors they they were uh, they were pretty happy about picking the stuff up so uh, more power to you it's all about having fun collecting diecast have a great day folks bye bye